Hey everybody, Corey Schrader, Black Creek Wealth Management. Just wanted to circle back on the final trades of the week. Had a pretty, pretty decent week. Uh, so just wanted to run you through again uh, some of the results and just some of the observations and things I'm thinking about moving into next week because uh, uh, going to keep this train rolling. So going to go ahead and start off with, as you can see my screen here, we're going to go ahead and talk about Home Depot first. So if you go back and look, you'll, you'll remember that I went ahead and I placed uh, an option. I went ahead and bought a put option because I believe that the price of Home Depot or the price of the stock of Home Depot is going to continue to drop. And I think it'll get somewhere right around 295 is really what I'm shooting for. Uh, so I went ahead and I bought a put, which basically allows me to make money uh, as the, the actual price drops down. So I went a little bit of a little bit of some time out there, did about a month of roughly about 30 plus days. And I ended up buying this uh, option for $4.60. So right now, if I wanted to go back and just sell it back, I would, could basically sell it for $4.85. So right now, after one week of trading, divided by 460, uh, 460. So right now, I have a 5% gain on this position. Um, so, you know, just had to wait a little bit. Uh, time was all over the place. Uh, volatility or the fluctuation of the stock price was all over the place this week. Uh, there was moments where it broke 300, where I was up about 30, 35%. And now as a result of the last couple of days, market was up, uh, or I should say Home Depot price was up. It tried to go higher, but came back down. So there's a little bit of some bouncing going on. Um, at the end of the day, if I can clear uh, five to twenty percent on this trade, I'm going to be happy because even five percent a month uh, over the next twelve months is, if I remember correctly, sixty percent. Not not a bad day, right? So we're going to go ahead and continue to watch out for that one. I don't want to be too greedy on it, but I also do feel like this is going to go down. Uh, I'll probably give this week another opportunity. There are some indicators on the short term daily that are saying that it's oversold at this point. So I'm, I'm definitely watching that. But when you look at it on a weekly basis, we're still showing that the velocity or the momentum is still picking up. Got a little bit of some fight back. But even on the RSI, it's still showing that it's broke that uh, this upward trend line here. Let me just draw it real quick. So it's broken this little upward trend line. And I'm going to watch to see if this sucker is going to come back up. But right now, I think it's still a good trade. And again, I'm going to be focusing on that specific trade. So that's Home Depot. Let's talk about SPY. Let's talk about my spreads. So if you remember, I told you, you can basically make additional income on a weekly basis. Now, this is a fun strategy. You just have to be very, very careful that things just don't get out of hand and you can close it out if you need to. So this week I was able to purchase, and they've now expired. Uh, but I was able to purchase uh, SPY a put at 414 and sold it at 414 and bought it at 404 to cover my backside if the price dropped. Well, the price got to 427. When I opened it up on Monday, it was 30 cents, so 0.3. Okay, so that's three percent. So on roughly the 350,000 that I'm trading on this, I was able to get 3% this week on that money. And basically all I'm using is time to just whittle away. And as long as it does not get near my spread, which was down here, this is this line here, this was 414. You can see it came down, but it, it plateaued really right around 425, which is what I thought was going to happen because there's that rising window here. So it's going to test this first. And now it did get a little bit, you can see it here, got a little bit lower. And then there was some serious buying pressure back up to pull it back up. That's why the second day happened. And then it tried to pop high and then came back down in this range. So what I'm watching for is I'm watching to see is this downward trend going to continue. And as of right now, on a short term trend basis, it's showing that there's a little bit of some upside happening. Now, can you know, compare this to Home Depot, where I think it's going to go down. I still think the S and P is going to go down, but on a weekly basis, I want to see this start moving higher. Why? Because I'm going to be selling basically these puts or these spreads 
below these prices. So I want the S&P to go up and I just I'm just going to take income and premium you know basically on a weekly basis and as long as this thing keeps going higher I don't have to worry about closing out my position and I can just keep bringing in that half to 1% on average and that's what I try to do on a weekly basis again 1% a week that's a pretty pretty strong strong thing so this week everything went well um, I am looking at levels a little bit lower I would love to get around 410 um, you can see and again this is based off of Friday's numbers but if I was to do a 410 spread right now, 410, that'd be 29 cents. You sell that. So basically, when I come in here and I do this, this is how I gauge it. So 410, 400. Right now, there's about a one, and I can get about 1.5% on that trade had I put it in on Friday. And the probability of it hitting, well, let's take a look. So if we go to 410, and again, this was as of, so let's say, come out on the market what's today gosh it's october crazy so you come out here for the week right now there's a three percent chance that this will hit by saturday okay now you take it by friday one and a half percent chance so there's a good probability that this will never even get close even two standard deviations so these are things that i'm watching for now i gotta wait to see what happens on open on monday so this trade might not work but i was able to capture three percent last week so right now if you're keeping track on one of the strategies, I'm up 5%. On this strategy, I'm up 3%. So let's talk about the last one where I said I was shorting the market. So that position, SPS, SPXS, which is three times uh, the S&P 500 to the downside. So when the market drops, this makes money. And as I continue to tell you, I believe that the market is going to trend a little bit lower. Now, we're not getting out of control. We're not going on a 35 or... It's going to be hard to get down to 38, but I really do believe we probably are going to 4150. Maybe we're like right there. So if everything continues the way I think it will, we'll hit that. So I'm going to continue to ride this wave. Well, as of right now, as I told you before, I got in at 425. This is now sitting at 1578. So in the position right now, I have a 11% gain that I essentially got for the month of September because I put it in on September 5th. So I'm going to be looking to get out of this trade as I start seeing some of this momentum shift back to the upside because that's what you want to do is you want to get out of it before everybody else does. So right now I'm still going to ride this wave. But again, when you look at SPY, let's go back, on a weekly perspective, it's still trending down. Okay, still trending down. I'm not arrogant enough to say that this is going to keep going. I have a belief that it will hit this trend line again, right around 417, 415. So if it goes down and touches it, and I'm hoping it does it next week, I'm going to sell all my positions. I'm just going to get out of it. And if I miss out on the extra little juice down, well, maybe I'll miss out on a day or two as it goes through. And if it keeps going lower, then I'll re-entry the position, assuming that momentum continues to move in that position. But if it doesn't, I essentially got out when I needed to and then shift everything back to the upside. So when this market goes back up, because it will try to test 4,500 and, and close out at 46, which is a, what a lot of people are saying, is, is by the end of the year, they think we'll be at 4,600 on the s and I'm going to be looking to take that back up. And if that does happen and I'm able to get in at 4,250, okay, that's about an 8% return. Now, I triple that. So hopefully, I'll be able to capture on this strategy potentially another 25% by the end of the year. So if I can keep the 10% that I have, add another 25, that's a pretty strong year just with all of the uncertainty going on. So that's about 35, 36%. So these are the things that I'm looking at. I just wanted to circle back with you, show you kind of how the trade worked out. I still think we're going a little bit lower. It is starting to slow from a momentum perspective. So I am watching out for that. But hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, obviously let me know. Hit subscribe, hit like, so you get these videos on a regular basis. But thanks for tuning in. God bless. Have a great day. Again, Corey Schrader, Black Creek Wealth. Take care.